Hi, I'm Teacher Im and I prepare videos to help my students score better in their STB and MSD paper and I hope my videos can be helpful for you too. In this video, I'm going to talk about probability of event A and event B or in notation form, A intersect with B. Videos coming up after the intro. <music> Let's have a look at cases where we are we have two events A and event B which are not mutually exclusive. Well, if you have not seen my video on mutually exclusive events, well, I, I would suggest that you press those a uh, button on the right hand top a right hand side and I will also uh, put in the video in the description box okay so you should understand what are mutually exclusive events now in this case we are talking about not mutually exclusive events means they are events that can occur together but these two events might be different okay so we have Event A and event B, if they are not mutually exclusive, when we want to find the probability of event A and event B, if you look at the Venn diagram, A and B is actually the place where they event A intersect event B. Okay, so they occur together. So there is a similarity, the intersection between event A and event B. So if we have the number of event A and event B, means the number of intersection in the center here, we just need to take the probability. Uh, the probability can be counted by taking the number of event A and event B, means the number of uh, intersected values uh, from there, and we divide it with the number of samples. However, if we don't, then we will we can also calculate this by using the formula of getting probability of event A multiplied with the probability of event B. Let's, let's look at this example. If there are five blue pencil and four pink pencil in a pencil case, if we randomly select two pencils from the case, what is the probability of getting a pink pencil first? and then a blue pencil without replacement. So the total sample will be 5 plus 4. So we have the total sample of 9 pencils inside the case. Then what will happen is we are going to take out the pink pencil first. So the probability of getting the pink pencil will be 4 over 9 because we have the total sample of 4 pink pencils altogether. Next is, when we want to calculate the probability of getting the blue pencils, we have to be kind of careful because inside the question, they mention without replacement. So I let B by, is uh, for getting a blue pencil. So the number of blue pencils I have is 5. But when I calculate the probability of getting blue pencils, I have to take note because they mentioned without replacement, which means the pink pencil is already out because they say they get the pink pencil first. So when I calculate the probability of getting blue pencils, I have 5 over 8. My total samples have less one value, one pencil. Okay, so I want to calculate the probability of getting a pink pencil first and then a blue pencil so i will be using the formula of intersection so getting a probability of a and b is take the two probability and i multiply them together and voila i will get the answer so the probability of getting pencil pink pencil first multiply with the probability of getting the blue pencil i will get the answer for probability of getting a pink pencil and a blue pencil Super simple, but you have to take note of the word without replacement. In the second case that I'm going to talk about is when event A and B are mutually exclusive. Mutually exclusive means they cannot happen together. 
So the the probability that both event A and B occurring at the same time will never happen. So if you look at this Venn diagram, these two events will never happen. Therefore, A and B happening together is equivalent to zero. Let's look at this example. In a class of 30 students, there are two boys named Ali and Akau. Very, very old-fashioned, right? Well, yeah. find the probability of Ali and Akau being selected as the monitor of the class. Now, everyone knows the monitor or the head of the class, there's only one of them. There's only one monitor in the class. The other one is an assistant. So, I'm talking about the monitor only. So, it, this is a mutually exclusive event because Ali is an individual and Akau is another individual. So, they will not be selected as the monitor of the class at the same time. Therefore, this is a mutually exclusive event. So, for this mutually exclusive event, my sample, I have 30 students. If Ali and Akau are selected, so Ali, I will represent it as A, and Akau, I will represent it with B. So, the probability of Ali and Akau selected as the monitor because this is a mutually exclusive event, Ali and Akau will never be selected as the monitor at the same time. So the intersection of them is equals to zero. Simple. Alright? Now there's another case where we call the event A and event B are dependent events. The probability that both event A and event B occurs is we need the conditional probability formula. So we will have something like this. Hmm. If you have uh, do not know what is conditional probability, don't go panic panic. I will be doing a, a, a video on it soon. Well, to get the probability of A and B in dependent case, we will need this formula. Let's look at this one. A box contains black balls and white balls. A person selected two balls without replacement. Ah, take note, without replacement. If the probability of selecting a white ball on a second draw, given that, well, given that means it, this is a conditional case. The first ball is black, which means it has to be a the first ball must be black first. Okay? Must be a black ball coming out first. Find the probability of selecting a white ball and a black ball when the probability of selecting a black ball first draw is 0 0.37. That's quite a lot of information to digest. Let's cut it simple. Firstly, I'm going to let B as event of selecting a black ball and W is an event of selecting a white ball. Well, the next one is the probability of selecting a white ball on the second row given that. That information can be transferred to like this. Okay, a black ball is selected given that okay given that so we have a slash here okay that given that is a conditional probability and the answer that they gave is 0 0.14 then the probability of selecting the black ball at the first draw the probability of getting a black ball on the first draw is 0 0.37 that's the second information what the question wanted? The question wanted, find the probability of selecting a white ball. So, and a black ball. So, that is the probability that they wanted inside the question. Let's bring out our formula. So, the probability of A intersect B is the probability in the conditional form multiplied by the probability. Okay, take note, the one B and here is the same. 
So the information that we get, the probability in the conditional part, the B and the B here is the same. So we can use this formula. So let's put in the probability of getting a white ball and a black ball will be this probability that they gave you 0 0.14714 multiply with the probability of getting zero uh, a black ball which is 0 0.375 put them together and press the calculator voila the answer is out in stbm remember your answer should be in four significant feature Okay, so in my next video, I'm going to talk about this probability of A or B. Alright, event A or event B. So if you like what you see, please hit the like button to power me up and motivate me to get more video out for you. And if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe so that can you watch. You can watch this video on probability of event A or event B in my next video. I will see you again. Bye-bye.